Hi, this is Vintage Toilets Vermont. Today I'm going to conduct a test to see how much water a standard modernist actually uses. The tank is full up to the level which I prefer for this type of a toilet. And I'm going to turn the water off. Then I will flush the toilet to empty the tank. Then fill it manually with a gallon jug. Once the tank is full, I'll turn the water back on and flush the toilet, but channel the full refill water into the jug to see if we can fill it. I would say this level is probably about an inch and a half below the top of the overflow tube. I put a piece of tape right here. And this is what I'm going to fill up to. So now I will turn the water off. And now I'm going to flush the toilet to empty the tank. I'm going to estimate that I have about two inches of water left in the tank. And now I'm going to use my standard State Park style self-closing faucet to refill my jug. Gallon number one. Gallon number two. Notice I just barely covered the guide, and as you recall, I did a test flush at this level, and the toilet seemed to flush all right. So this is two gallons of water that I poured in. Here comes gallon number three. I'm a bit below the original water level that this tank was set at. Gallon number four. I'm just below my water level. This is gallon number five. And I'm now at my water level. So I fill this tank with just under four and a half gallons of water. I'm running the overflow into this tube and I'm going to see how much water actually goes into the jug when I flush the toilet. Here I'm going to turn the water back on, aim the hose into the jug, and wished I had three hands. 
and flush the toilet. Looks like I'm, looks like I have about a half a gallon so far. This jug is going to overflow. So I collected, well, one plus gallon of water, one gallon plus just a bit more, and I have just under four and a half gallons. With the tank set at this level, the standard modernist uses five and a half gallons per flush. Definitely a lot of water compared to today's standards, but not nearly the seven or eight gallons these toilets are accused of actually using. I would not install this in my home simply for this reason, because the water is so expensive, but out here where the water is free, I would have one without hesitation. I'll conclude with a standard modernist flush, and this is going to dump four and a half gallons of water through the bowl, and when the tank refills, it will have added another gallon to the bowl, so five and a half gallons total. This is Vintage Toilets Vermont saying thank you for watching.